Hey guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today I have a bit of like a Mac haul, but really it's kind of favorites as well. So this is um, my personal favorite top 10 Mac products. I think I've got 10, there might be a cheeky one extra, but we'll call it 10. Um, and yeah, these are things I use in my pro kit, things I use in myself. Some of them you might recognize as newer Mac products and some of them are old school. So they are things I've had repurchased in my kit again and again and again because I love them and they work so let's get straight into it. So first one you will have seen on my channel quite a bit recently and it is the Mineralized Skin Finish which is their powder. Um, this is a really late discovery for me, it's probably one of the newest MAC discoveries I've had personally. Um, it's a beautiful setting powder, I think some people would, could get away wearing this if you had good skin just on its own because it does kind of give a little bit of coverage but it's quite buildable and I think the biggest thing I love about this is that it is kind of ever so slightly light reflective. So it's not sheeny, but if you like a dewy skin, but you still want to add some powder, it's not gonna take away from the whole dewy look. So that is amazing. And that's something I wear a lot on myself at the minute. And like I said, I've been quite late to, but really enjoying that. So next thing is MAC Cream Color Base. And these come in all different colors. Again, they're great for like multi-purpose. And the color I wanted to mention is Hush, because this has been in my kit for about 10 years, obviously not the same one, but it's been repurchased and replaced again and again because it's just such a pretty pinky pearly, um, slightly opal color cream highlighter, but it also looks beautiful on eyelids. It looks really beautiful um, down the bridge of the nose on the kind of decollete, such a good little highlighter. Um, and again, I just find, cause it's like multi-purpose, you can use them everywhere. And I know a lot of people that love Hush and also Pearl was another one I really used to like. So the next one I know a lot of people love, but this for me has like a special place in my heart because it was like the very first foundation I ever had in my kit. It is of course MAC Face and Body Foundation. Um, I'm holding the white one here because I was looking through my kit and I was like, it's a good one to remind people that they do even do a white foundation. So whether you find your super, super pale skin and you wanna add some white um, to your foundation to make it even paler, um, these mix beautifully into each other. As a lot of people probably know, they have like a filmer in them. So once they're on the skin and they dry set, they almost have like a water resistant finish. Um, incredibly long lasting, uh, kind of like a satin dewy finish somewhere in between. Um, good on most skin tones and I love this on legs. So this gives you that gorgeous Barbie leg. So you get that perfect like plasticky, look, plasticky looking limbs but that just look really beautiful and perfect. Really, really nice. Um, the colors mix well together. And like I said, when I first started as a makeup artist, I literally used to get with my friends who were makeup artists starting out. We'd buy like three each and then we'd decanter them all into small bottles and like mix the colors and stuff to kind of make our custom shades because obviously we could only afford a couple of foundations when we first started. So nice little memory lane one for me there, um, but I still love it and I love that Mac still sell it. So obviously MAC I think kind of started as a makeup artist brand and now it is worldwide. It's so well known by everyone and I think one thing that they are incredibly famous for and rightly so is because of their colours. So whether that's their pigments, their eyeshadows, their lipsticks. So everything they do is super pigmented and one of the products that I wanted to show you, these count as one obviously, um, these are the Pro Paint Sticks. So these are probably only available in the Pro Store. Um, they do come in like amazing colours like Cerise, Magenta, really bright colours. But the black cream, they're almost like an oil finish. Um, so they are very, very pigmented. But the brown one as well, I use this all the time for doing a really quick smoky eye in a rush or if I have to do something where the look is very, very smudgy. These are amazing. I use them a lot for editorial, but I've also used them as eye bases before. Um, they do stay wet, so they don't kind of like set to a powder finish, but for like a rock and roll eye. I go back to these time and time again. And again, I'm so glad that I can still purchase things from Max that I've been using for such a long time now. So that's really nice. So another thing is of course the MAC pencils. I'm talking about the lip liners and the eyeliners. I think MAC pencils have had such a resurgence since the whole Kylie Jenner and the Whirl and the Spice and saw lip pencil being sold out for what feels like forever. Um, the two I've chosen to mention though that kind of my personal favorites for lips is actually magenta, which is a very, very beautiful kind of pinky purple magenta, really, really beautiful lip color. I love wearing this as a lipstick because it's really long lasting. And again, the colors that MAC do are just phenomenal. You get such a lot of choice. And then for the eyeliner, of course it had to be Teddy. I felt like it was between Teddy and Coffee, but there's lots of other matte browns I like, and there's only kind of one or two shimmery browns I like. You guys know I love a shimmery brown. I feel like that's always my go-to. Um, so yeah, this just has a little bit of kind of bronzy shimmer in, really easy to wear. If you're afraid of a smoky eye or kind of going into the waterline on your eye, definitely try something like Teddy 
as like an entry level, a kind of gentle way into it. Um, and you can build up from there and you can try and see if you like look for smoky eye, um, but you'll use this so much if you get this. So next thing, it might be a bit of a random one, and I think it's kind of a makeup artist staple, is MAC eyelashes. Now these ones, the writing is kind of printed off, it's either 73 or 13, um, but I can put it on the screen once I find what number it is. Um, hopefully the camera will pick these up. They're like a very kind of 60s wispy lash with the gaps. So they have a very comfortable lash band on them. And I love these for editorial or if I have a client who's quite fun and you know wants to do something a little bit more editorial for the red carpet, these look beautiful. Um, and the quality of MAC, I think the case, the fact you can just pop it out, there's no kind of packaging you rip open. Um, even the way the lashes sit, they already have that nice curve on them. It's the little touches I think that make me kind of Really, really love the MAC lashes and I always go back to them for really interesting kind of strip lashes with various different variations. So another classic MAC, and this is a classic Harry product, it is of course groundwork. So the paint pots, I have them in loads of different shades. I love Constructivist, I think it's called. Um, quite natural, soft ochre, uh, black track, or not black track, black, black ground I think it might be called. Um, these are just amazing. If you were to buy one, I would totally recommend groundwork because it's such a versatile color um it's not shimmery but it's not matte there's like some kind of light reflection in there and it comes up a little bit of a different color on every skin tone but i love it it's just such a good tone i use it for loads of different things um and yeah again the staying power of these is amazing they make great eye bases but even on their own they are very opaque you can build them, you can shear them down. They're just an incredibly versatile product and I really hope MAC never discontinue them. So next up is MAC Lip Mixes. I don't know if you guys have seen these again. I have a feeling they might be a pro product. Um, so you can even get shades like black and white, which are amazing. You know, so you can even mix them to make your own custom lipsticks. Um, they do like a navy blue that's stunning. But two that are actually really, really wearable. And what I wanna say, guys, is before we had liquid lipsticks, we had lip mix. So before we had liquid lipsticks in the way we do now, I remember as a makeup artist to get a really lovely matte finish, an opaque lip. Um, it was lip mixes I used to use. So this one is orange and this one is red. And I still use them now. You get so much product in here. They last ages. They just give such a beautiful lip finish that's very modern. Um, and I would say these are slightly dry, slightly less drying, sorry, than a lot of the liquid lipsticks I've tried recently. Um, so if you haven't tried Lip Mix, like I said, it's another kind of oldie but a goodie one that I've had for years and years in my kit and I still repurchase. And again, I'd be terrified if ever they stopped making this. So another thing I think MAC is quite well known for, like I was saying, not just their colours but their pigments. So especially when I was younger, when I first kind of started to get into makeup, I would go to a MAC store and I would just head for the glitter. <laughs> the glitter and the pigments and I would just, on the little carousel, spin it round and look at all the beautiful colours. And when I first started as a makeup artist, I remember I wasn't interested in foundations, I wasn't interested in concealers, I was interested in glitter and colour. <laughs> so, not a colour one to show you, but the pigments and glitters in general are amazing from MAC, and there is a pigment that I love and I always come back to, and it is rose gold. So hopefully you can see by the packaging, it has that kind of molten metal finish. What is amazing about this one in particular is that when you mix it with water or the MAC mixing medium, I think it's called, just the watery one, it literally goes like molten metal. So it has the most beautiful finish. Um, I think this video I used this in way, way back when, in when I first started YouTube. The lighting's a lot different, but I'll pop it down, see if you can see it. If not, I'll try and use it in another video soon because it is just stunning. It's so, so pretty. Um, again, these last ages, I find the tiniest bit of pigment mixes amazingly well. Colours are great and again quite long lasting when they're mixed so you get a lot of playtime with these and they're really fun to experiment with. And last but not least, totally feel like I'm cheating here, obviously I couldn't do a MAC favourites without mentioning some MAC lipsticks, however there was two in particular that I felt, hmm, how do I choose between the two? So I've totally cheated and I have of course gone for a MAC lip palette. <laughs> so these ones come already made with the colours already chosen for you. It's called Six Editorial Reds. The reason I love this is that you get Russian Red, Lady Danger, MAC Red and Ruby Woo as well as two other reds. So four like amazing, well worth purchasing reds even in their own right. But to have them in a palette for me is perfect for my pro kit and if I'm travelling and I know I want lots of reds but I don't just want to choose between one, I'll often take this. Um, so you've got like mattes, you've got cream, you've got quite a different selection of the MAC reds in here, but Ruby Woo and Lady Danger for me are just signature MAC lipsticks. I love the fact they've kind of got history behind them of who wears them. Um, Rita Ora, when I first worked with her, she literally handed me Lady Danger and was like, 
this is the lipstick I wear. So I was like, I salute you. We're all loving the Ru Ruby Woo and Lady Danger. Um, but that was her lipstick. You know, I've worked with artists where again, you talk to them about their favorite reds and Ruby Woo always comes up because it's so long lasting. Um, and again, even that smell like takes me back to my first Mac purchases. It's really like, brings lots of emotions of building my kit and starting out as like a budding makeup artist. So I'll always have a, they'll always have a place in my heart, I think, and um, just beautiful, whether it's a classic red look or a 50s red, they're just really, really iconic. And I love this one very, very much. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. Um, I would love to know what your favorite MAC products are. And obviously with MAC, they bring up so many new collections. So let me know kind of which one you're loving at the minute as well. Um, I'd love it if you subscribe and let me know what you would like to see for more videos in the future as well. And I'll see you soon. Thanks very much guys, bye.